Dear 2020, it's been quite a year for everyone, hasn't it? Even though it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, I've still managed to accomplish a lot. In mid-January, I submitted my application for VCU Arts, and by mid-February, I was accepted. At the end of February, my acapella group competed in a competition where we had the most fun we've ever had. March through June were all the same, but I was so productive. Creating products for my shop I opened earlier this year, posting YouTube videos multiple times a week, exploring fun fashion combinations. In May, I technically graduated from high school, but I got my diploma in July, the same day I got my wisdom teeth out. I turned 18 and socially distanced celebrated throughout the day with a few friends. Because of COVID, I couldn't celebrate with my family out in California like I usually do, but it was a great day regardless. August, I started my freshman year of college and moved out, at least for three months. Time flew, being independent and in school was crazy yet so amazing. I met cool people, got to have so many adventures in the city, and be in art classes after five years. Late November, I came back home and quarantined, already excited to go back to Richmond. No road trip to New York for Thanksgiving, so we ate out on the deck with Kitty instead. And now it's already December. Earlier this month, I finished my first semester of college, and now I have all the free time in the world to do absolutely nothing, and it's great. It's been a hard year, and a good year, and a tiring year. The happy times can't make up for the bad times, but the bad times don't make this year all bad. Every year will have unexpected twists and turns. 2020 just seemed to have a lot of really, really crazy twists and turns. But I've learned so much from this year. Realizing that making things in multiple art forms is what I want to do for a living, meaning I'm definitely majoring in the right subject. My drive to create is unstoppable, even in the global pandemic what a global pandemic truly is, and that I will be wearing masks whenever I am slightly sick in the far future. Zoom is quite a helpful tool to connect people for school and even to see my family who are about 7,500 miles away. We still have to fight for human rights. No matter how much progress is made, there will always be more that can be done. The future is really scary and you might have an idea of what you want to do and everything, what you want it to look like in your future, but it all could be erased in a single event that will affect the entirety of the human race for years and destroy all plans you have come up with so it is better to focus on the present and it will be okay. But in all seriousness, the most important thing I learned was it doesn't help to be a pessimist, so I've learned to be more optimistic. 2021, I'm excited for you. I hope you hold good things ahead for everyone. Cheers, Liana.